We're going to be going over how you can add authorization to your resolvers with TypeGraph QL and any kind of arbitrary middleware that you want to run beforehand. Now I think you'll find it quite nice and the way we do it is actually quite simple. So for example, if we want to make a field or a resolver authenticated or authorized, we can add this at authorized decorator to it. Um, and we can also pass parameters to it. For example, if there's different rules that we want to pass in or make sure that the user has to actually consider them authorized, we can. So let's go ahead and add this to our program or our code. So the, the uh, resolver that I wanna make authenticated or authorized is this hello resolver. So I'm gonna add authorized to it. Now we don't have different roles right now, so I'm just gonna do the default. Now we need to actually add the logic to check whether the person is authenticated or not or authorized. So to do this, we're gonna head over to the index file and we're gonna be adding something to the build schema command. So if we scroll down a little bit, we'll notice how we can actually implement this. We can add a auth checker um, and the auth checker is a function that looks like this. So I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna say auth checker here and we can paste this in. Uh, so here you'll notice that we have access to everything you'd have access to with a GraphQL resolver. So we're gonna get the root, the arguments, the context, and the info for the resolver in case that's relevant to anything we wanna check. In this case, we don't really care about some of these things. We do care about the context though, because the context is gonna have whether the user is authenticated or not. And the roles, as you can see by the comment right here, is gonna have whatever the user passes in, uh, well, not the user, but us, whatever we pass in here as the role. So again, we're not gonna use roles right now, so we can get rid of that. So in our context, we know that we have a request object, and we wanna check the request object to see if it has a user ID on it. So we're gonna say request.session.userID. So if that exists, we're gonna return true the user is authenticated or authorized to do the action. Otherwise, we're gonna return false. Now you can add more checks in this if you want. For example, if you wanna do role-based, you could do uh, some if statements, fetch the actual user itself and check any kind of role you want to. But for us, this is all we're gonna need for a single, is the user actually logged into our website or not? Uh, we can just check whether there's a user ID in the session. Also, if we wanna simplify this a little bit, we could just say return request.session.userID and we could cast it to a boolean. So if it's undefined, this is gonna return false. Otherwise, if a string exists, uh, we're gonna return true. All right, so let's give this a try. So I'm gonna save it. I have my server up and running. And if I come over here to my playground, you guys will notice that I'm logged in. We can go here to me I can see that I am Bob2 right now, so I can try accessing hello. So access it, and we get get it no problem. Now, we haven't actually implemented logging out, but we can log out by getting rid of our cookie. So I'm going to click clear all here, and uh, now it's gone. Go ahead and click this. And so this is me trying to access it without a cookie or without being logged in, and you'll notice we get an error, access denied. You need to be authorized to perform this action. So this is the default error message that comes with TypeGraph QL. Um, and we can basically customize this if we want to. Uh, but what, what I wanted to show you is there's another way we can do this similar thing um, that I found I like a little bit better. So this is how you can use the at authorize decorator. Um, but I kind of like having multiple different kinds of authentication decorators that I can add to stuff. So I found middleware is where I tend to just create a kind of similar way of doing it. So how we can do middleware is like this. So we can create a middleware function. And I think they have an example here. We can add the decorator, use middleware, and we can pass in whatever we want. So not just authorization stuff, but for example, logging or a type. They're here, I think they're checking how much time it takes to actually the resolver to run. So that could be handy. Uh, but what I've been using it for is for authorization. So using this, and I get, you get a little bit more flexibility from it this way is what I found, and you can create a couple different kind of middleware functions. So just to show you how this works, we're gonna implement what we just added ourselves using the use middleware. 
So step one is to create a middleware function. Um, I'm not going to use a class-based iterator, or sorry, a class-based one. We're just going to do a middleware function. So I'm going to copy this example here. And I'm going to create, I guess, a file for this. Create a folder called middleware. And I put this in the modules folder. Maybe I want it outside, though I think I'm OK with it right here. Um, so here I'm going to say, call it is authenticated, or is auth for short. We'll paste this in. So we're going to say is auth. Now is auth is going to take, um, it's going to be coming from the type GraphQL, this type. And here we're going to begin, uh, it says args here, but we can accept context, info, root, anything that we would want um, to have access with the resolver. Whatever is going to be passed into the resolver, we have access to now. So the one we're going to be using, again, is the context. And um, we can do the exact same check that we did before, uh, except now we need to actually throw an error ourselves. So we're going to say if context.user. Sorry, not user. Request that session dot user ID. If that does not exist, we can now throw our own custom error if we want to. Um, so not auth. All right, so it's not happy about it. It could be does not exist on the type. All right, I'm guessing we have to pass in yep what the context is. So we can use a generic. We can pass in my context that we created. All right, so it's saying the session may not be uh, possibly undefined. We can see that by uh, hovering over it, possibly undefined. We can just assert that we know it's going to be defined using the exclamation point. All right, so now we have this is auth middleware, um, and we can add this to our resolver here. So we're going to say use middleware. And now I'm going to get rid of the at authorize decorator because we don't need it. And we just need to pass in our is auth. All right, so now we're going to try the exact same thing. I'm going to try to access this while I'm not logged in. We'll run it, and we see we get a not authenticated error, and that's the error that we had. Um, and let's try to log in. Make sure we have a user back. We do. You can see the cookie down here as well. And now we can access it. So those are kind of two different ways which you can achieve the same thing. So pick which one you like. Um, and also, with the resolvers over here, or with the middleware over here, you can pretty much create your own middleware uh, to do anything. So highly recommend starting to use that. And it's very easy to kind of just add it above your resolver. And I don't know if you guys saw in the docs example, but you can just add multiple. So we only have one middleware function right now, but we could create a second one. So here we can add a logger one. So we can call this logger.ts. And I'm going to copy this. Copy over my logger, and we're going to call this logger. And all it's going to do is it's going to console log. I'm going to log the args. I guess in this case, we don't actually have any args. So this is kind of a pointless uh, for our, our hello one. But we could add it to register, for example, maybe. But then we don't even want to uh, log that. All right. Uh, the other thing I didn't mention about this, which I should mention, is that we need to call next at the very end here. Uh, so this just calls the resolver itself, or the next middleware if you have multiple middlewares. So make sure you have that at the very end. Um, all right. So we, or in our case over here, throw an error also is a good choice. Uh, if that will end, it won't call the resolver. By the way, too. Um, and so now it's going to log the arguments. In this case, the argument should be not anything. Um, but now we can do any kind of arbitrary thing. Oh, it's not a module. Um, context. I think I'm importing it from the wrong place, maybe. Nope, looks good. Just going to restart it and see if it's still there. All right, yeah, looks like it's good now. Um, and now we can run this. And we can see the arguments are nothing. So it gets run beforehand. And uh, I believe is auth should get run first and then the logger, but I'd have to double check the docs 
but I believe that's the order. Anyway, definitely recommend trying out the middleware. Uh, I'm really liking the basic API for it. It's been really easy to add. And also I like the idea of just adding decorators like this. It's really easy to do.